Hi everyone, I'm Gemma and today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video. I'm also wearing a nice Royal Academy of Dance sweater, got in a sale, nice and comfy and soft and warm and I'm a bit too warm so I might have to take it off for later, never mind. So, this is going to seem very excessive. This chunky thing is my ballet bag. And yes, there are some lessons that I definitely do not need everything that is in here, but I like having everything I could possibly need on hand. You can't say I'm not prepared. You definitely can't say that. Anyway, so this bag is just a duffel bag with two straps there, and then it also has a longer um, shoulder strap that I wouldn't use because, you know, do my shoulder in. But this is from Cat. This was also in the sale. This was a fiver. I was like, I don't need a ballet bag. I mean, I've already broken two bags because I was trying to stuff too much in there, but I still like, no, I don't need a bag that big. Don't need it. Yes, I do. But that's the trouble. You get a big bag, you find things to fill it with. So, opening it up, what have we got? So, I will start with my flat ballet shoes. I have two kinds that I like. Um, and generally it depends whether or not, whether I'm wearing tights or barefoot. If I'm wearing, if I'm wearing tights, I tend to go for the So Dancer Pro, these are SD120 I think their model is, but the great thing about these is they have a left and right. They have enough, I really 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 tape the toes and I always end up with baggy bits here but you can see they definitely go down. There is a nice space for your big toe and then it just curves down to your foot. So these are probably the best fitting shoe I've ever had. Honestly they fit like a sock. They are absolutely amazing. I don't have the right to speak in the world, these hug them brilliantly. Um, however, I also still have preference for my block shoes, so these are block elastic splits. So you can see there is no shoe in the middle, it's just a bit of elastic under your arch. I have very narrow feet, these are nice and huggy in the heel, there's no drawstring on either of these pairs of shoes, cannot stand drawstrings. Um, I love these shoes. Um, admittedly they are a little bit baggy at the front, Every pair of shoes I have, I think this is my third or fourth pair of these shoes, um, they all get holes in the toes. These get holes in the toes as well, these are just very new and they're so pretty and clean at the moment that I tend to wear my gunky old ones <laughs> instead. Um, but honestly, these, these really do last, they really are, really are comfortable. Um, yeah, they don't make you work through your feet because there's, there's nothing there to work through. They just, yeah, they, both of them feel like I have nothing on, which is brilliant. So. Nice shoes done. We then have horrible shoes. For our idea of a cushion of rage, you have to wear different point shoes, which are basically point shoes without the shank um, to get you used to working them. So they still have a horrible thick sole um, and they're supposed to have a box. Obviously, these have broken down. I've broken these down so they no longer really have a box. I mean, they're more, there's more structure to them than there is a ballet shoe. Um, but so these are wear moi la point. Um, I think they came with the elastic drawstring, they came with a shit pair of ribbons that I've taken off and I have stretchy elastic ones in a loop instead. My trouble with Demi Point Shoes isn't so much that they have a really thick sole which makes it hard to balance in which is horrendous but I was like, that's the whole point of wearing them. My problem is that they do not do them narrow enough for my feet. So whatever size I get they are still, whatever brand I get they are still slipping around. My foot still moves inside of them independent of the shoe. Um, these are the best ones I've got because of the elastic uh, drawstring. I've tried elastic drawstring in other ones and it just doesn't really work. I still don't like dancing in these, but it's just, just really good to put up with. Um, although, fortunately, you don't have to wear them at the moment for exams. So we'll see how like that gets on. So, day of point shoes done. Let's find my point shoes. Oh, no. Yep, no, point shoes next. So, we have my old point shoes, which have decided to come out of the box by themselves. So these are block balance Europeans in a five and a half X. So that's as narrow as they get. Um, love these shoes, love these shoes. I didn't think point shoes were comfortable. I thought point was awful and horrible. And then I got these shoes and you know, it's only just clicks into place and everything works fine. These are dying on me now. So I just come in a little bag like I made myself. And the little elephants on, and they're cute. Anyway, so two of those shoes. Um, one with stretchy loop elastic. Um, one with regular ribbons because I never got around to switching it. I had them a year, <laughs> never bothered doing the second shoe. Then what else is in this bag? I have a bit of microporous tape. 
but honestly I don't get blisters in these shoes anymore so I don't really use that um, my toe pads these are rumpf they smell all right actually I don't know why I smell them but there you go good to know they don't smell too much like feet and then I always have a pair of ballet socks in there I have very sensitive skin I cannot wear my feet I cannot wear these barefoot so if I'm in leggings and I have bare feet rather than in tights I'll put these on instead so you will not see me in bare feet because I can't stand it so they are my old shoes I've also bought some new shoes so they're just like a little flowery bag that I also made so this I also have a pair of socks in they probably need washing they do stink um, I have my other pair of shoes and these are split soles so these are also the European uh, block ones but these are the Euro stretch they have made with stretchy stretchy satin and they have a split sole um, these are rock solids at the moment I have not broken them in I do not like dancing in them they make my feet look quite nice but cannot roll through my feet at the moment so getting there with the shoes so there are my pink ballet shoes so next up I think we'll go to skirts so for the already higher grades, so six, seven, and eight, I'm currently doing seven and eight, you have to have a rep skirt that matches your leotard. I have a lot of rep skirts to match a lot of leotards. My current favorite, or my newest one anyway, is this forest green color. In that gorgeous color, love it, absolutely beautiful. I had this specially made for me by a lady on eBay. Gorgeous, love it. I also have a navy one that I've had for years that you've seen in my videos that is my second favorite but the only downside to this is this does come with um an elastic waistband rather than like a clippy one but still pretty who cares and then if i don't want to wear long skirt i want to wear short skirt i have been making my own wrap skirts so my favorite one is this one it's sort of like an abstract abstract flowers and blocks and squares and whatnot it's just very bright absolutely lovely gorgeous love it to pieces and then I have lots of skirts but my two favorites are that one and then this one which is a uh, oh inside that uh purple butterflies so I'm actually selling these skirts so if you want to check out my Etsy down below you can do skirts and then also for R.E.D. character skirt so black one with I have blue ribbons at the bottom because I have a navy leotard basically I like blue doesn't matter what colour of leotard I'm in, I wear that. I'm not getting carrot skirt for every colour for every leotard I have. And then to go along with that, I have my character shoes, so with ones with Cuban heels, so the high heel. Um, these are Capizio, and basically I got them because these were narrower than the block ones they sold in store. Um, then what's this? Oh, I've got lamb's wool. So because I've got tapered toes, I just stick this under my little toes. Um, occasionally I just have a little bit. You can see I really have not used a lot of that pot at all yet. Um, then occasionally a pair of shorts just in case you need to stick something on so you feel like your bum's hanging out. There you go. Um, towel because I'm a sweaty mess. Doesn't matter how cold it is. If it's cold I sweat if I'm working hard. I sweat if I'm hot. I sweat. Just sweaty. Need a towel. Oh, my favourite things. These are my favourite things. These are my black warm-up booties. These are so comfortable and warm. I always have cold feet, even when I'm roasting, even when I'm really, really hot, I have cold feet. It's very nice. I can wear my shoes underneath, shoes with them as well. Very comfy. They look absolutely ridiculous because they do not go with anything, but they keep my foot, feet warm. Lovely. Also on the warm-up side of things, I have this gorgeous, um, what do you call it, warm-up from San Sancha, is it San Sansa? Sancha. I don't know if you can read that. Sancha advance. Um, so yeah, so this is like a purple ribby top bit and then strippy legs. This is new. This is new. I was getting really, really, really cold in the studio and tell you what, with my dodgy hips at the moment, I can't stand the hold. They feel far worse, far more painful than the cold, so nice and toasty in that. Oh my god, we've still got so much left in there. Um, no, we don't have that much. Stuff. One more item of clothing, I think. Yes, I have my back elast in a bag. So this year, yeah, just every year now, I've been doing PBT, which is progressing ballet technique. If I can get in the bloody bag, handles are in the way. 
um, yeah, which is sort of like a Pilates thing to focus on your ballet technique and the name really. Um, so you do stuff with different balls and um, bits of equipment and mat work to work. So it's a little jacket um, that has elastic down the arms and then elastic built in inside as well. And this really gets you working on, not only on your posture, but also on using your back muscles and using your arms correctly and sort of learning which muscles you need to engage. So that's quite, it's a bit expensive, but it does work. You still need to work hard, but I think, I think it helps. Um, and then also for PPT, I have a tennis ball and that also rolling out your feet, rolling out any knots you've got, um, just sitting on it on bits that are in pain. That's quite nice. Um, somewhere I have a Pilates ball about that sort of size and I also have a big, my hands aren't on the camera right now, but like one of those big swish gym balls as well. But that stays at the studio. I'm not carting that backwards and forwards and big as my bag is, it would not fit in there. Then I also have the three metre long therabands also for PVT, so that's good for stretching. Um, then I have my not so attractive um, theraband that physio gave me. So I've got exercises to do for my dodgy hips. Um, I should be doing when they're doing other stretches. Um, this does not get used very often, or as often as it should do. I do have another one I use at home, but this one pretty much stays in the bag and comes out very, very, very rarely. And then finally, I have my fan for repertoire. So repertoire level two from the RID syllabus, Capalia. Um, yeah, we do the Spanish dance. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit broken now, but yeah, still in there. It's just been shoved in the bottom bag, getting broken pages. So that is my ballet bag. That's everything I cut around with me. There are days where all I take out are my ballet shoes, but I like having everything else there. So there you go. What is your favorite?